Hello, it's Melinda. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are starting Chinese Whisper 3 on the Mind the Scrap Facebook group. I'm taping this video on June 10th, but it won't, this won't be revealed until July because we have to wait four weeks to reveal all of the layouts from all the participants. So the process is you have four people on your team. Week one, you pick a sketch. I'm going to pick this one. Sketchability is 139. You create a layout based on this sketch. And then on Sunday, you pass it on to the next person in line. And then they create a layout based on your layout. And then they pass theirs on and it goes on until week four. You get your you get the layout created by your created from your layout back from the fourth person in line. So I have chose this sketch and I have decided to use a background that I created a while back just testing out my stencil. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of like sequins waste or sequins. The stencil is by Balzer Designs. It's the stencil here. So it is done on just cardstock and it's completely dry. So I'm going to use that. Uh, some gold frames. I think for the some of the layers and maybe the banner, sorry, the banner, I'm going to use these papers. This blue one is a bow bunny. Game on, back to uh, back to basics. Game on is the color. Here's the back side. And this one came in my hip kit for May. It is Chamel's. Little by little, this is Cultivate Joy. School colors are this blue and yellow. This is this a picture of my daughter at commencements. Um, if you can tell by the look on this child's face. <laughs> they had just turned their tassels and everyone was paying attention up front. And my daughter is doing the heart to our family. Um, they were supposed to be thanking the parents for getting them through. And this is how she thanked us, sending us a heart. We were very appreciative of it and thoroughly enjoyed that scene. So I'm going to have to crop it down a little bit. I'll probably cut out the girl there and maybe here, somewhere along the line, make it maybe a little bit bigger than a square wide. And let's see what else I pulled. These are Tim Holtz Ideology quotation stickers. They come in silver, black, and silver, black, and gold, and just white and gold. I think I'm going to use these Dear Lizzie Thickers Royal. I'm not sure how old these are. Let's see, 2014, so I've had them a while. I haven't used all but maybe one or two. Looks like happy. I think I'm going to use the Hooray. I like the size of it and the loops. So we will see what I come up with. I know I've got to pull some other things because they have little things here. I have some doilies pulled. I'm not sure which one I want to use, but they have a doily in theirs. i got to pull some tags and whatnot and some splatter. Something that I can use for strips, maybe some washi tape. Who knows? But I'm going to put you on fast forward and you can watch this happen. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to start out by cutting the photo like we talked about. I, the sketch called for a square one and I, I really wanted to cut that girl's shocked face out of it so it didn't distract. I'm going to pull the frames that I'm going to use and figure out the orientation that I'm going to use. I want the lines of the dots to go up and down. 
I know I want one in the layers, but I don't know which one, so I'm going to try a few. It ends up being a gold one. I'm just figuring out whether I want the blue or the yellow to be the banner. And I have to border the photo in white because it drives me nuts. No random, I should say it's just a random width from the photo. Just whatever I feel like at the moment. This one tends to be a little bit thin. Just something so it doesn't bleed into the yellow or the blue, depending on which one I use. Now, the colors of their school are pretty bold. I don't normally scrap with this bold of a blue. No idea what size. I just, what looked good. I'm going to repeat it in the blue because I don't know which one I want the banner to be in. So I'm going to try them both. I cut this one wrong. Yep, right there. And then I also cut it too steep of a peak. So I'm going to cut it again. This time with a narrower peak. That's better. I'm going to cut this one just in case. I debated on using two banners offset just so the blue t peaked out from around it. I decided that that's too short. I regret that and have to glue some more parts back on it. I'm thinking. My fingers are moving. This is my little washi tape bin full of black and white and newsprint. I'm thinking I want newsprint in the layers. And I'm looking for another thinner washi tape that I might be able to use as the horizontal strips. This is the gold spotted tissue paper that I love so much. This time I'm going to just do three layers of it. I'm going to wrinkle it up and just stack it up. I needed, I needed more gold. So this worked out perfectly. Just trying to see if I just want it to be non-bannered and I decide yes. What the tissue paper also does is that it adds another width to the photo that the blue paper doesn't really stand out. This is where I have to add more of the yellow banner because I've cut it too short. So now I'm just going to try to play with some layers and stuff things in. Now I'm okay that I hardly see the blue. Like I said, the blue is a very bold. I thought about using that, but it's just too wide for the horizontal strips. So I do pull this other black frame acetate out. The center of it has a pink hue to it, so I don't care about that. That black and white striped one is a Heidi Swap Project Life card. I'm going to pull the hooray off so I can get that situated, kind of no size of it. Just put it on wax paper so I can move it around. That tag is uh, My Mind's Eye and that one's just a one from Michael's, the white one is. I'm going to stick the doyle underneath so I don't forget it. This is where I decide, yeah, I need it to be gold. Just going to play around with size. These layers are going to bother me. Eventually, I'm going to staple them. See, that one just keeps popping in and out. Here, I'm trying to figure out what layer I want it under. Just fussing. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put this. If I use it in the layers, I'm going to have to uh, back it so that it can st not stick to everything. But I decided to put it on the very back layer along this one side. This is where maybe the layers drive me nuts. I'm debating on whether I want two layers of doily. I do that often just so that there's more fluff, I guess. That is a flare badge from, I believe, a flare for buttons. I skipped ahead because I did some trial and error things. This is just thin washi tape that I'm going to 
put on this paper so that it, I can use it as the strips. I play around with the blue scallop. My thought is, is I need another spot of blue someplace to kind of have it in three spots, the photo, the layer, and then someplace else. This does not end up being it. Just rip the edges. I don't know how long I'm going to need it, so better to have it long, too long than too short. I debate having crisscrossed, having the yellow on t or the blue on top, the blue on the bottom. Well, this is where I, I staple. I'm trying. I'm sick of it being cattywampus and not working. So I'm going to stick that underneath there. The blue ends up being not the right shade of blue, and it bugs me. So it's close, but it's just not, and it's I just nix it. I decide that if I'm going to use this, I need to use it up in the little frame section too. Not sure how long, so I leave it a little bit long. I don't know what else I'm going to add to that little section, so I just keep putting the pile there. I'm thinking. The doily folded doesn't work, so I need a second doily. Same doily, just double it up. I just like the extra layers that it adds more depth. I'm just kind of futting around here. I don't know how else to say it. I move it around, I look at it. If I'm not going to have another um, line, I need a little more thickness down there, so I'm going to add the arrow from the, the thicker words and the hearts to spread that kind of matty gold color around. That kind of, that arrow helps that line to look more substantial. Another flare for buttons badge. I thought the bottom layers there needed something. Tapping the fingers. I'm debating. I know I need to add some splatter, so I figure I better do that now before I get too far. I'm going to do Heidi Swap Gold and also Plain Jane Baseboard in Coal. I'm going to sop some of that up just so that they dry faster. I'm not a patient person waiting for that to dry doesn't do me good. The ones that are going to be under the layers, I don't really care. It, it, it leaves a glimmer. They'd be better if I left them, but I'm not in the mood to let this layout sit. I just roll the black off so it's dry. Here's my big pile. I'm going to commit to the photo. Now, at this point, I'm realizing that my journaling is going to have to be on the tag. So i got to figure out how that's going to work. I'm going to cut this tag because I don't need all of it there. Stick one end, and then I'm going to stick the other end on the other side. Last minute decision. Second guessed myself, but I put it back. This is where I need to staple this. It just is too annoying. I ran out of staples. Replace them real quick. I just ripped it down so it was the size I wanted it. I just get a feel for is that what I want. Now I'm going to move this out so that I don't flip this over and get spots of ink on it. I'm going to 
create a pocket. So to do that, I need the back to be completely flat, so I can't have the doily and the other layers. So I'm going to just put a piece of cardstock, figure out where I want the tag, how far I want it to stick out. I'm going to hold it there once I get all these layers glued so they're not moving around. Hold it there. That looks good. Hold it, and then I'm going to get some Scott's foam adhesive and just cut it down to a narrow strip. So I'm going to stick it on one side of the tag and on the other side to create a channel and then put one at the bottom for a stopper. And then I'm going to put another piece of this cardstock on the back to cover all that up. And voila, I have a pocket. Bring the layout back. That was not crooked enough, if that makes any sense. It was too straight, I guess. I'm going to use a sticker in the little section where the frame is that says see possibilities everywhere. Not sure exactly how it's going to work in, but I just so I just tack it up there so I don't forget to use it. I'm going to commit to the photo cluster. Make sure that still slides. Might as well get the title down. Now that's going to stay, the title's going to like stick off the photo and see how the Y's floating. That, it'll be fine. It's going to go in a page protector, it'll be fine. This is where I'm trying to figure out the, blue, the more blue situation. I think this little cluster up here, where the little frame is, needs a little color. So I'm going to just stick this right about there and let it mostly be hidden just you just peeks out around that's enough i debate on whether i want to add yellow there because i'm realizing that if i'm spreading the blue around i might as well spread the yellow around because the yellow is only in their tassel and that one banner but that that doesn't work so i nix that one i have to figure something else out for the yellow This I fuss with quite a bit, trying to figure out where to place all that. I decide that I need black thread. And that looks too uniform, so I... This is a postry thread, and it, it doesn't like to mush up very much. It's pretty thick. And then I'm going to do the same up there in the corner. And that one I actually want to be more of a circular. But I tried this anyway, and it, that's just a messy knot. So I'm going to take it off and try it again. It really just doesn't want to be a ball. So I'm going to wrap it around my fingers, create a little spiral nest for this edge to sit on. I'm going to stick the flare badge in there. I'm going to start committing to some of this because it's moving around too much. Now this is the part I don't know, where, that ends up staying right there, but I second guess myself sometimes. I'm going to try to cut this off and it moves. I'm going to tack it down with something else, try a glue dot. I decide I need a third spot. I don't need anything to be real bold. So I'm going to take two of these. One says, believe in yourself. And the other line says, go with your heart. But first I decide how I'm going to solve. I need more yellow. I'm going to cut off two sides of this photo, of this layout. I think I'm going to cut it a second time because it doesn't end up being big enough. This is just for my stash. It's a yellow and white vertical stripe. It is from Studio Calico paper pad that I have. I decided I wanted to just be two sides for no other reason than I think the yellowness needs to be on one edge and not the other. 
So that's how it basically is going to look. I'm debating whether that's enough showing. And I'm not going to save this. It's been in my stash for a while, so I'm not going to cut gut it. I'm just going to lay it on there. And I'm going to take the edges and I'm going to rough them up of the white all along the edge. I do this just so that it adds a little more texture and doesn't look just like, I don't know, flat against the striped paper. And then I'm going to add these two lines. I guess I didn't find the second one. There's the second one. Believe in yourself. Go with your heart. I'm going to start this. I don't show you the process of me journaling, but I need a reinforcer because sometimes it drives me nuts when I don't have them, but I don't have a black one. So I'm going to take one of the wood grain ones that I have pre-cut and just color it with my marker. The other tag has a black reinforcer and I thought this one needed it too, just so that it could stand on its own. I'm just going to glue pin it on. And then I'm going to outline, after I dab that, I'm going to outline the tag so that it doesn't fade into the background of the layer there. Just going to draw lines on it and journal, but I'll tuck it in here so you don't have to watch me do that. So that's done. And I'm going to show you some close ups. Now, I did end up adding more to the title. And I think I show you that because I stop and do it right there. Yep. Hooray, you did it. Stay tuned for some still shots. I want to thank you for watching again and have a great day. Bye.